Morning. Big story setting up out west. We're talking about the atmospheric river. What does that mean? It means tons of moisture expected to move into the west coast. Just take a look at the line of storms. It's going to be funneling into the area. We're going to be watching as tons of advisories. If you've had any doubts, take a look at that. Beach erosion even 15 feet. Here's the key. It is raining right now, and a series of storms will be moving in. Not one, but one, two, three. They're going to continue to bring all that heavy rain, so the threat from mudslides will be in the region. But even with all of this, Los Angeles still 7 inches below the average for this time of year. It is not going to be making a dent for the drought conditions just yet. But I have to end on a good note. Finally, a huge pattern shift is out there. Notice where it's cold and where it's warm. Like it's been all season long, that is now shifting. And that's some great news. That's a look at the big picture. Here's a look at your local weather. Teaser, you guys may love me by the guys may love me by the middle of the week. Temperatures going up. We already love you. Yeah, I was going to say, we already love you. Even more reason. Just a tag for you. Everyone else but Ron. Ron will love me by the end of the week. Ron, just, just lie every now and then, okay? It's all right. I do. <laughs> Ron's motto is, you can always do better. You guys, uh, perfect. I got to ask you, Dan, when was the last time you went fishing? When I was like five, I caught okay. a fluke, and I called it good at that point. Okay, so you're all good. So it was a fluke. Yes, it was quite good. literally. All about the panfish. Here's another reason for all of all right, it's time for Pop News. Rachel Smith in Hope because it. Sarah Haynes just had a baby. She did. Congrats, Sarah. Again to you, little Alec and... Technically, there was. She did. I hope you and Maddie talked about that first young lady. And number three, consider texting your congrats initially because you don't want to bombard the family with calls minutes after the baby's arrival. There's busy loving on that sweet and in Sarah's case for the Alec. Absolutely. You know? It's a big deal not posting those pictures first. What is too? Oh, my gosh. You don't want to be... No spoiler alert on that front. That is not cool. Major no-no. Okay, so... Uh-oh, okay. Fine. Cecilia, <laughs> moving on. From big beginnings to poignant endings, Downton Abbey's two-hour finale is tonight. You stayed with the show all the Really? Time. I've, I've never seen it. Yeah. And so tonight, <laughs> so that's not on your to-do list? I'm like a few episodes behind, yeah. so I probably won't see tonight in real time, but I okay. will see it for sure. I know. I want to catch that, and I've got also got to catch uh, Walking Dead. That's got a lot of binge watching well. to do, right? Yes. So well, much to do. <laughs> I love The Walking Dead, and I love Downton Abbey. The shirts sure don't mix. They uh, don't. Uh, Tougher, I know. And it's so also sad. public, too. Very, very yeah. public it has been. But to brighter news, Hollywood is buzzing this morning about a crossover of blockbusters heading to the big screen. The mashup, Men in Black and 23 Jump Street. What? Genius combination, I think. According to reports, uh, Sony is looking to start production this summer. Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum will reprise their roles as Janko and Schmidt. I love the two of them together. Unfortunately, though, Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones will not be joining them as Agent J and Agent K. But it's safe to say those two roles will be highly sought after in Hollywood. And I cannot wait to see who lands those two roles. I don't understand yeah. how this happens. Like, oh, what it's is so going to work. What is the meaning? I am not crazy. You know what, Dan? Movies. Sometimes yeah. you cannot question things. You just have to let them be. I cannot wait till they come together yeah. on the big screen. Maybe there will be Downton Abbey. So yeah. 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 You never know. Yeah. Well, and how's the car? There's a movie right now called Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. So that would that actually is really? that. I would so, watch yeah. that. Yeah, you were going to link to the game or on the Game. That, absolutely. So, all right, I that's all for now. Yeah. Pretty good pop news, I have to say. I still am mystified about like the pitch meeting, how that goes when somebody goes in. Yeah. I know we're gonna do 23 Jump Street, but listen to this. I think we should also put Men in Black in there. Hey, you throw in Will Smith, even if he's not gonna be in it. Done. That's a blockbuster. Fresh faces. True. Although I guess he's not gonna. Yeah, do he's this not. We're gonna fresh faces. Here's of cache it. of. Yeah. yeah. It, does. it does. Thank you for joining us this morning. <laughs> Stick around for George later with this week. Hey guys. ABC News honored winner for the second straight year with the Edward R. Murrow Award for.